what's up everybody welcome back to the channel tammy talks here we knew kk was gonna fold but i thought kk would at least give us god at least an episode to like really root for you sis you know what i mean but at this point if you want your self-esteem to be below the gutter this is on you because I'm big done. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tammy. This is Tammy Talks Love Island USA Season 5, Episode 26. All right. Um, a huge thank you to the 157 of y'all that subscribed to the channel last night. Last night into today, based off of last night's episode of Love Island. So I appreciate that. Y'all have no idea. I appreciate each and every one of you. So with all the new people, because that video did really, really good for me, way better than I thought it would be, than I thought it would do. If you are back from last night's video and you have not yet subscribed, if you enjoyed the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. All right. Be sure to thumbs up the video. If you are a person that wants to show some support, but doesn't really want to like leave a comment comment, you can drop a black or a chocolate brown heart in the comment section to let me know that you stopped by. Um, a thank you to the super chat that I got. To, I think it came in today, but thank you for that. I appreciate it. Let's talk about the episode, y'all. I have a lot of notes um, and I think I have too many notes. So we're going to try to get through this so it's not a long video. All right. So it starts off right where last night left off with Kiki. No. KK and Keenan are talking. So she initially wants to get up and walk away. He tells her to stay. He tells her that he was ready to close things off with her, but then he wanted to test the connection. So I got a comment, um, <clears throat> a couple of comments from people asking, why is, uh, what is with the Keenan hate? Keenan's not doing anything wrong. I have been an advocate for that, right? I have said every single video, I think it's been 22 of these recaps where Keenan has wanted to test the connection. I have always said that there is nothing wrong with Keenan wanting to test the connection, right? I've said that. You, It's on, it's on film. You can literally go back through the Love Island USA playlist and see every single video where I said I agree to test the connections. I have always said that his logic for it is wrong. Not even that it's wrong, that it comes across fraud. His logic doesn't make sense. He talks in circles, which is what a lot of people have been saying. It's not that Keenan is doing anything wrong by wanting to test other connections, but the way that he explains it just does not make sense. Just say, I want to test other connections, period, period, boom. He doesn't do that. He says, I want to test other connections, dot, 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 ellipses. And then it goes on to a slew of phrases that are, are, broken up by semicolons that keep going to where it's like, when is the end of the damn sentence? That is the issue. It's not that anybody thinks Keenan is this horrible person for wanting to test the connection. I have never said that. I've never said that. If y'all ain't watching the recaps, just let me know. <laughs> Cause that's what it's giving. Y'all don't, I, I honestly think some people have something dead set in their mind. And they just go to recaps and post that without actually listening to some of the stuff they said. Because I have been in Queen E's comments, looking at her comments while listening to the video. And some of y'all will try to combat something that she literally said verbatim in the video as well. So it just shows me y'all not listening. Y'all are searching Love Island recap and then just like copying and pasting your, your stance. But... Nobody thinks Keenan is wrong for that. Let's just get that very clear, okay? So she then tells him, the interesting thing is, apparently they had a discussion that he would not cuddle with anybody. 
I guess cuddling with people was a boundary for her. He acknowledges they did, but then say he didn't know what her boundaries would be over in Casa. So right there is a lack of respect. So people are saying Keenan didn't disrespect her right there. Him knowing what her boundaries are and then being like, well, I don't know what you're going to do. So I'm going to just go ahead and, and, and break cross this boundary. I'm going to just say forget about it. She feels he doesn't take accountability. He thinks that he does. She said, no, you dance around it and does and does. He does. She said that she respected him throughout the entire thing. She slept outside. She didn't kiss anybody outside of a challenge. His response was, oh, yeah, I see. It's like the thing with Keenan, and we're going to get to Leo as well. Y'all know that y'all messed up. And then y'all have the audacity to want to walk around with an attitude as if somebody did something to you, and that's not the case. So KK walks away. Um, Marco and Hannah are talking to her and Marco is trying to explain to her what happened. Keenan comes and grabs her quickly, says we ain't done with our conversation. They go back to talk. Marco and Hannah run after her. Keenan gets kind of disrespectful a little bit with Hannah. Hannah said, don't try it. Don't talk to me like that. KK tells him, don't disrespect Hannah. That's not even necessary. She saw what was going on. Don't disrespect Hannah. See, Keenan's Keenan's biggest problem, his biggest downfall, his biggest fault, his biggest character flaw is the fact that when he is caught out on something, he gets disrespectful, he gets rude, he gets av avoided, he gets flippant. KK said, we had a boundary and his response is, well, I didn't know what boundary we was going to cross. KK says, I didn't cross that boundary. I didn't disrespect you. His response is, okay, yeah, I see. Like, he does, like, he's he's condescending. That is his problem. That's why they have the back and forth that they always have. So, Marco and Hannah are over to the side. And Hannah feels that she doesn't even want to try to get involved anymore. You shouldn't have tried to get involved in the first place. Shouldn't have tried to get involved in the first place. I get it. That's your girl. You want to support her. You want to be there for her and all that other kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, they're going to talk regardless. Y'all know how KK is. Nobody is shocked that KK is, is, is giving Keenan. Like she didn't even ignore Keenan for like that night. She didn't even make Keenan sweat for that night. <laughs> Why would you even want to go over there and try to come to her defense? Let her ass sink at this point. Let her sink. It's up to her to want to sink or swim. She wants to sink. Let the heifer drown. <laughs> what more can you do at this point? So Keenan is now trying to apologize. We get Cassie and Mattia. So... Um, Matia said that it's uncomfortable being in the villa, but it's okay. Well, what did you think it was going to be like, Matia? That's what I don't kind of get about him, because he, he kind of worked my nerves too. But like, what did you think it was going to be like? Did you think it was going to be all rainbows and unicorns and gumdrops? Like, <laughs> if all the raindrops, what is it? If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gumdrops? Oh, what a world it would be. That's not what this is, baby. That's not what this is. That's what Casa was. Y'all back in the villa. <laughs> Whole different world over here. So, we then see Leo over to the side, just, Leo gone somewhere. Go and braid that hair. <laughs> Ask KK if she can rebraid your hair real quick. That's what you need to be focusing on. That also means he ain't washed his hair in about two weeks. That's concerning. So KK said that, or excuse me, Cassie feels that the door is now closed. She said that she is giving uh, Leo chance after chance after chance after chance. She can't do it again. I actually kind of believe Cassie, kind of believe Cassie. We get Leo and Johnny. So Leo is telling her that he just feels horrible and terrible. So he now feels bad that he hurt somebody that 
you know, he really cares about. He wants to tell Cassie that he didn't mean any malintent, but he wants to give her his space. Do I think that Leo set out to hurt Cassie? No. Do I think that Keenan set out to hurt KK? No. I don't think they set out to purposely hurt those people, to hurt those women. I absolutely don't. But you have to be an adult and take accountability for what you did. Y'all did do some stuff. So Carmen is talking to Keenan. She tells Keenan what happened in the video. Carmen, who sent you over here to talk to Keenan? It's like you be real, like we be trying to give Carmen a little bit. And then I feel like she is the equivalent of, not even the equivalent, she is the epitome of give an inch, take a mile. Like, girl, go talk to Kenzo. Didn't y'all miss each other so much? Why are you all up in Keenan face? I'm so tired of her foundation cracking too. Is she not using a moisturizer? Like, have KK show you how to apply your foundation. Oh, because it, it's not it's not translating well in the light. Not with my 4K TV, it's not. So, Keenan tells K uh, Carmen he didn't fold. The, the, whatever they saw, that clip, when he says, oh my God, he was asleep. He is saying that he was asleep. She put her hand on him. He said, oh my God, and then he slid out of the bed and moved into a different bed. Now, he said, ask any of the guys because they all were in there. They all weren't in there though. That's the thing. They all weren't in there. If that is true, I kind of feel like production would have shown that. I know y'all feel that production has it out to break up this black couple. I don't think that production has it out to break up Keenan and KK. Keenan and KK have it out to self-implode. But I don't think this is productions doing, right? He said that he needs to get some, he needed to get some clarity. Carmen is disappointed that he did not sleep outside. Carmen feels that they give off toxic energy. What type of energy do you get off, Carmen? You give off annoying energy. I just, I don't know. I just don't like the fact that it is Carmen having this conversation. I don't like that it's Carmen having this conversation. I don't. I can't explain why. But it's something about Carmen that just seems very disingenuous. Considering the fact that we, just, we saw Carmen and Hannah talk about Cassie behind her back. Who knows what they're saying about KK behind hers. They could be calling her a stupid ass. <laughs> A little stupid ass hoe behind her back too. You know what I mean? So I just kind of feel like I don't, I don't, you know, I don't really trust y'all, trust y'all like that. So Keenan is saying that KK is his everything, but he just needed clarity in his own way. Do y'all see how that just doesn't make sense though? And that's where everybody feels a way about Keenan. It's not the fact that you want to go and see if there's another connection for you. It's the fact that you will say that KK is your everything. She's your rib. She's your heart. She's your everything. You want to build with her. You're ready to fall for her. You have all of this that you want to do, but you still want to go out and get clarity by talking to and kissing other girls. That doesn't make sense. That part doesn't make sense. So... In the confessional, he said that he is head over heels for KK. And yeah, he did what he did, but it's still all about KK. So we get Bergy and Black Taylor. I don't think Bergy likes Black Taylor. <laughs> to be honest with y'all, I think Black Taylor likes Bergy. I do think she likes Bergy. Um, y'all know there are some women that... People just would not think would like the like nerdy type of guy like Bergie, but they really are attracted to him. Because like I said before, Bergie's not an unattractive guy. It's just that he's an, an inexperienced guy. Because there are some guys that you would look at it from a distance. They look very nerdy. They look very whatever. But then when you're in a setting with them in like conversational style, you'll be like, oh, damn. Okay, complete different person. So she's trying to tell him um, 
They surely liked him. He was like, let's just enjoy, enjoy the experience. Maybe Bergy has just learned from like going all in and talking about the future because he's been curved about 511 times by now that he is just going to do this a little bit differently. He reaches forward and kisses her. It's aggressive. He don't know how to use his tongue to kiss. Next scene. Next scene, y'all. Mike and new old Hannah. She wants to know about destiny. She wants to make sure that, you know, she doesn't want to be caught in the love triangle. What do you mean, new old Hannah? You came knowing that Marco was with somebody else. You were going to be in a love triangle regardless. I, I don't I don't want to see her anymore. KK is telling the girls that she did not slam the door on Keenan, but he has to put in some effort first. Cassie said that it's wild that he slept with the girl on night two. I said, I know Cassie, night two, sis. Night two. He ain't even sleep with you yet. So she, in, according to Cassie, that shows her that everything he said or did for her was fake. She called him a hoe. I said, not a hoe. <laughs> you whore. She called him a hoe. And then Cassie said he lost a bad bitch. I said, I know that's right, girl. Have, have that confidence. Uh, Destiny's childish ass ignoring Mike and what for? What for? What for? I was okay with her shading Jonah because Jonah did very, very quickly and like kind of rudely move on to Imani over Destiny, even though Destiny was like not giving. But I just, what are you mad at Mike for? Why are you ignoring him? Destiny is one of those girls that is like a five-year-old that when she likes a boy, she throws stuff at him. That's what she's doing. If I ignore him, he'll come chase after me. You too old for that, Destiny. You two steps from 30. You sneeze and you're going to be 30. Still playing games. It's not a good look, sis. It's not a good look. You got these people acting a fool for you, fighting for their life in the comments on YouTube and Twitter, trying to, <laughs> trying to defend your honor. Uh, Johnny. Johnny's talking to White Taylor. Did y'all notice that White Taylor and Jonah didn't get no clock this episode? <laughs> no clock whatsoever. Like, <laughs> nobody cares about y'all. Just going over to, they gonna mess around and be the couple that wins. But going, going to the side somewhere. Johnny is telling White Taylor that Cassie is acting like she was going to come in and intimidate her and be a bitch. And girl, I can be a bitch. Cassie hasn't said anything rude to you. Unless you thought Cassie was calling you to see you next Tuesday, she wasn't. Cassie did what a woman is supposed to do and directed all her venom towards Leo and his five Leo and his five braids on his head. Don't worry about how I put up for it first. Leo and his five braids on his head. That's what Cassie directed her anger towards. Nobody's even thinking about you, Johnny. Girl gone somewhere trying to have a moment. That night, Keenan slept outside. It's time to vote KK off, y'all. It is. KK's talking to Destiny, saying that, you know, do I want to get in bed with him? Girl, bye. Bye. Bye, KK. KK will be the reason that I download the app to vote her ass off. You need to go home and heal. <laughs> you need to go home and get yourself together. My God. Leo and Mike. Leo wants to give Cassie some clarity on why things happened the way that they did. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Mike was like, your situation is fucked. Shut up, Mike. Johnny and Leo. So she's asking him how he feels. He said, horrible. Having a horrible, very bad, what is it? Horrible, terrible, no good, very bad day. <laughs> Wasn't that a book? I'm having a horrible, terrible, what was it? Terrible, horrible, terrible, no good, very bad day. That is him. Bad news bears. So she thinks that he's stressing out about how everybody else is perceiving him, not realizing da 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 that Leo feels away because he lost Cassie and he knows it. He lost Cassie and he knows it, right? Y'all say that they don't get to switch their votes. Um, they have to tell production ahead of time. If Leo did only pick Johnny because he felt pressured to by the other guys, that's your fault. 
I think that's your fault. So he doesn't want Johnny to think that he is avoiding her. He said he doesn't care what anybody else um, says or how anybody else feels. He cares about his feelings. He cares about Johnny's feelings. And then he doesn't even say her name. Uh, the person I hurt, he cares about Cassie's feelings. I think it's very odd, right? That in this particular scenario, Leo knows that he has hurt somebody right? You have hurt Cassie. The girl you said you were falling for. The the, the shorty that you kept saying, man, I miss my shorty. My shorty looks good today. I miss my shorty. You miss your shorty. You did all this stuff. You cared about her, but at the end of the day, you keep saying, I only care about my feelings in this moment. While that is, when, when you were doing the picking between Johnny and Cassie, yes, that should be about your feelings thousand percent but in this scenario when you have hurt somebody it's not about your feelings so I don't understand why he keeps saying that I think that has to be his immaturity and his age because the fact that he keeps saying I care about my feelings and then yours and then hers your feelings are irrelevant right now you should be focused on the person that you hurt I don't get like is it me do y'all get what I'm saying like that doesn't make sense to me she lets him know um, that he can't sit around and be miserable. She feels that, you know, she's frustrated because it's not the same happy-go-lucky place. You know, she she out here acting like Mattia. Y'all, it's not Casa anymore where everything is just free and we're all fucking all day drinking warm wine. That's not what this is anymore. We're back in the villa. We are back in the villa. Things are going to change. The energy is going to be different. The guys aren't as free as they were before. You see, ain't nobody laughing. Ain't nobody having a good time. We are we are no longer in Kansas, sis, okay? <laughs> it's, we're in the real world, baby. <laughs> what movie is that from? Ah, it's, it's going to drive me crazy. So we get KK and Keenan. They're talking... Keenan said that he slid out of bed after Nyjah grabbed him, okay? He then tells KK, I don't deserve you. KK said that even though my head is saying, walk away, I'm just going to give him grace because my self-esteem is below the gutter. It's below the crust of the the ground that's where my self-esteem is and i like it there kk we have reached a point in the series sis okay we have reached a point in the season sis where i'm done because i can't want more for you than you want for yourself so if you want to keep going back and letting Keenan treat you any kind of way. And this is from your words. This isn't Tammy's opinion. This isn't the opinions of uh, the Tammy Talks commenters. This isn't the opinions of anybody on Twitter or anybody in that villa. This, these are coming out of your mouth. These words that he's disrespected you. That he doesn't care about you. That he's... um selfish that he's this he's that and the other these are words that came out of your mouth if you want to continue to be with somebody that makes you feel less than literally every two days that's on you but leave us left fuck out of it because it comes it, it comes to a point where don't cry about something you're going to tolerate Right. So if you are OK, if you are that digmatized off of Keenan, right, even though he's going back to Atlanta and you're going back to Texas, if you are that digmatized by this guy that you are willing to weep on the ground, weep on the ground one day. Crying and screaming and kicking, sweat at your sweat at your, your, um, your lace front off that was lifting cried your makeup off if you are willing to do that one day and sob to turn around the next day and let this man lay his head on your lap and and talk in circles the same circles that he was talking about before it took him damn near 16 hours to even apologize and like sincerely or maybe somewhat close to genuinely mean it do you boo 
I don't care anymore because now you can get read down too. And I feel like that's going to start next episode. That's on you. Mattia is complaining about Cassie pulling away. You knew that she was torn between these, between you and Leo and Casa. We saw the conversation where Cassie told you she's conflicted. She feels away. She doesn't know what to do in this moment because... She still, you know, she has these strong feelings for Leo. They have a good connection. You knew all of this. So why are you shocked? Why are you shocked when you, at your mature age of 29 years old, went after a 22-year-old that doesn't know if she wants her 21-year-old um, boyfriend, I'm using air quotes, y'all, the guy that she's been, you know, canoodling with the past 14 days? Or if she wants to be with you, why are you shocked that she feels the way when she comes back and finds out he's sleeping with somebody or that he slept with somebody? Why are you shocked by this? Mattia really could have stayed where he was. Destiny and Mike. Destiny feels like Mike brushed her off during the recoupling by saying that, um... He was all in with new old Hannah. He said that if they, uh, what they had was strong enough, and if it was truly strong enough, they'll get back together. Um, Mike said he wants to talk to everybody and give everybody a fair chance because that's what's, that's what's fair. That's what's right. You're not white, Destiny, so he's not going to want you, okay? Girl, please. KK lets Leo know that she's there for him. Of course you are, KK. Of course you are. You don't forgave um, Keenan already. Of course you are. I expect nothing less than for KK to be the first person to tell Leo, it's okay, Leo. I got your back. Of course. It's fine. But what I don't want to hear is KK talking about soul ties. I don't want to hear the ghost of soul ties come no more. It's going to take for Keenan to be up there fucking a girl for her to finally be like, this man doesn't respect you or soul ties. Somebody said in the comments that soul ties must be a special place to them. I guess. I guess. But the fact that if he knows that and he still takes women up there, like... <laughs> Uh, Zay and Destiny. Zay now feels the way that he didn't know about Mike. Um, he thinks that Destiny was not confident in Mike and that's why he's there. She flips and it says, no, I'm confident in you and that's why you are here. Zay says, okay, I'll take that. But in his confessional, said that he's done all he can do. He's done his fair share of the chasing. You're a retrumplican anyway, sir. So we have Cassie and Leo. They finally talk. Okay. I was on Carmen's side in this moment when Carmen was like, it's very telling that he hasn't even tried to come and talk to you. You have to go and talk to him. In Leo's defense, he's giving her space. But I feel like, I do feel like Leo could have at least initiated it. Leo could have at the very least just came in and been like, so... Whenever you're ready to talk, let's talk. He didn't even, like, he didn't even do, he didn't even do that. I thought that was weird. But they talked. Leo said he felt hurt when she walked in. Um, he said there was nothing wrong with their connection. He had a spark with Johnny. And he let his guard down. And then he wanted to see if he can get to a deeper connection. She said, oh, you went deep, all right? <laughs> he then goes on to say, that you never left my mind. I thought about you like 90% of the time. She said when you were fucking her. I said Cassie came in with it. Bow, bow. Boom, boom, boom. I feel like Cassie would fight like this. She would be one of these. So she came in with the little punches. So he then asked, she asked if he, th if he felt that him and Johnny had a stronger connection than they had. And I think that's a very important question because if he feels that they have a stronger connection, then I feel like Cassie would be like, if you had a stronger connection, you had a stronger connection. And I honestly think that Cassie would have taken that on the chin and rolled with it. But Leo says no. So this is contradictory. 
So Leo's lying at some point, right? Either he's lying to Johnny or he's lying to Cassie because he keeps telling Johnny, um, keeps telling Johnny that she is someone that he's never met and she has all these qualities that he wants and she's second to no one. But you're telling Cassie that their y'all connection wasn't stronger. So which one is it? Who is the stronger connection with? Whoever you have the stronger connection with is who you should be with. So he then gives her his bra- gives her her bracelet back. She doubts if any of what they ever had was actually real. If he could sleep with somebody that he barely knew, Leo said he kept thinking about how he how could he betray his best friend who he was falling for. Leo, no, you weren't. You were laughing and sniggling and giggling the next day about how tired you were, how you were up all night, how you, then you went around and basically told everybody, you weren't thinking about Cassie in that moment. You weren't, because I wholeheartedly believe if the cameras weren't in the bedroom and that video never went out, I don't think for one second that Cass, that Leo would have ever told Cassie that he slept with her. I don't, I don't. So he then tells Cassie, that she is still the one he wants. <laughs> you didn't even pick her. You chose not to recouple with her. You literally chose not to recouple with her. You didn't even choose to stay single. Cassie said, you lost me. She gets up and walked away. That's how you do it, KK. At least make the nigga sweat for a little bit. So we get Mattia and Cassie. This entire this entire scene irritated me. Mattia feels that he is dating someone that just broke up with her boyfriend. You are Mattia. What are you talking about? It's not like it's basically she just got out of another couple. What's wrong with Mattia? Are we sure Matias 29? He look about 47 in the face. But are we sure Matias 29? Because the common sense ain't common sense in. What do you mean? So he wants to know if he should be open to get to know other girls because he doesn't know what's going to happen. She said, damn, it's been one day, which is true. Like it just happened the night before. It just happened. It literally just happened. So she tells him, if you don't want to sit around and wait for me to put my guard down and all this other type of stuff, then go explore other people. See, Matia, now you look stupid. Now she done made you look stupid. I'm not saying that he doesn't have a right to want Cassie to be all in, but you knew this coming into this. It's not like a Zay and Destiny situation where Zay is kind of blindsided because he didn't know Destiny had other connections. But, like, Cassie talked about Leo over there. She did. She did. (laughs) So I'm kind of confused as to why this is, like, a shock. You knew that, like, do you not understand what your purpose is in Casa Amor? So then we finally get Leo and Johnny. Johnny feels that she's been spending the majority of her time there alone. Wonders why she's even there. We are too, girl. Why are you here? I'm wondering why you're here. I think Leo should have picked you, yes, because he slept with you. But that was when I think a lot of us thought that Leo felt a stronger connection with you. But Leo tells Johnny that she has qualities that don't compare to anyone that's there. Didn't Leo say that he was a smooth talker or like his family and friends said that he was? Leo was running game on these girls. Both of y'all should just like, my God, my God. And they are falling for it. So he tells her that he still has feelings for Cassie. Leo, um, I'm sorry, Johnny asks if the door is still open with Cassie. He said, deep down it is. Now Johnny want to feel stupid. Girl, you should. <laughs> Johnny says she now feels stupid. She's not as confident. I'm not like a prized possession anymore. Now I'm just an option. You were always an option. You were always an option. But you chose to lay low and spread it wide for a man that you knew for two days. Knowing that that guy 
was in a, in a situation, it was called a situation, before he got there with you. He kept telling you that he was in something with Cassie. What happened to you being a big bitch and all this other stuff? And I know I look better than her and all this other stuff. What happened to all the bumping of the gum she was doing with White Taylor upstairs? Now you feel stupid as you should. And I know in that preview for next week, I keep saying next week, for tomorrow, that I didn't see Keenan's little bony brown fingers caressing her face to wipe some tears. I would think, Keenan, even if it is innocent, you know how KK is. Keep your hands, your phalanges to yourself. Don't touch nobody. You should be sitting like this around everybody just, that's how you should be sitting around everybody. Come on, Keenan. What? KK gonna be looking over from the side and she's gonna hear soul ties. And she gonna come running over so she can weep in front of y'all again. Like we have to use both sides of our brain. Let that cerebellum rotate, my guy. But that's all I have for tonight's episode, y'all. This is unnecessarily long. <laughs> and I skipped over. A lot of stuff in my notes. But let me know what you guys thought about this episode. If you have not already and you enjoyed the video, uh, thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys tomorrow for another episode. Peace.